When the early warning aircraft is cruising at an altitude of 500 kilometers, the pilot may not even be aware of the radar lock-on, yet a deadly missile has already been launched. This combat scenario, once confined to science fiction, has it become a reality with the PL-17 air-to-air missile now in service, transforming into a game-changing force in the hands of the Chinese Air Force's three musketeers? The defense community both domestically and internationally generally believes that this ultra-long-range air-to-air missile, referred to as the PLXX, or Project 180 during its development phase, has an astonishing maximum range of 400 to 500 kilometers. This figure is no mere paper exercise. It means that the PL-17's strike range far exceeds that of most currently deployed air-to-air -air missiles. With its design targeting high-value strategic nodes within the Animus combat system, early warning aircraft, aerial refueling aircraft, electronic warfare aircraft, and other force multipliers that underpin modern air combat. Continuously emerging evidence in cyberspace silently confirms that the PL-17 has transitioned from research and development blueprints to the pinnacle of operational deployment. At different times and locations, images captured by professional cameras or ordinary smartphones clearly show that the PL-17's distinctive ultra-long missile body has been genuinely observed on the side missile bay or main missile bay of the J-20 stealth fighter, under the heavy-duty pylon on the underside of the J-16 heavy combat bomber, and even at the centerline position on the underside of the J-10C medium-sized fighter, defense analysts have rigorously analyzed these widely circulated images and unanimously concluded that they are authentic and reliable, not digitally altered. This marks the PL-17's transition from the testing phase to becoming a standard weapon for the Chinese Air Force's new generation of mainstay three-pronged force integrated into frontline combat units on a large scale and in a systematic manner, with its long-range strike capability achieving a critical leap toward operational deployment. How does the PL-17 achieve ultra-long-range hunting capabilities exceeding 400 kilometers? Its technological core represents the pinnacle of contemporary missile engineering. Its powerful propulsion stems from an innovative dual-pulse solid rocket motor. This technology divides the propellant into two or more independent combustion stages providing additional thrust at the mid and terminal phases of missile flight. This significantly optimizes energy management, overcoming the traditional engine's fading power issue after long-range flight, ensuring it retains sufficient kinetic energy for high maneuverability penetration at the end of its range. Its sharp eyes lie in the active phased array radar seeker head mounted on the warhead. Compared to traditional mechanical scanning radars, the AESA guidance system offers significant advantages such as faster scanning speed, stronger multi-target capability, outstanding resistance to electronic interference, and longer detection range. This enables the PL-17 to maintain stable search, tracking, and lock-on capabilities against targets in complex electromagnetic environments, significantly enhancing its reliability and accuracy in high-intensity combat scenarios. The smart nerves are a composite guidance system comprising an inertial navigation system, GPS, Baidu Satellite Navigation System updates, and a high-speed bidirectional data link. The INS provides basic autonomous navigation, satellite signals ensure long-range accuracy during mid-flight, and the high-speed data link grants the missile unprecedented human-in-the-loop control capabilities. The rear platform can update target information, correct flight paths, or even temporarily switch strike targets in real time via the data link during missile flight, greatly enhancing the missile's flexibility and combat effectiveness especially against maneuvering evasion or newly emerging time-sensitive targets. When placed within the global air-to-air -air missile development spectrum, the PL-17's ultra-long-range positioning becomes immediately clear. The PL-15, the current mainstay long-range air-to-air missile of the Chinese Air Force, has a publicly assessed range of approximately 200 kilometers, already ranking among the world's top-tier capabilities. The PL-17 directly pushes this benchmark to an astonishing range of 400 to 500 kilometers, achieving a doubling of range, thereby earning its designation as an ultra-long-range air-to-air missile in name and substance. Globally, the United States is actively developing the next generation AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, with a design target range reportedly around 260 kilometers, aimed at replacing the current AIM-120D with a maximum range of approximately 160 kilometers. However, while Lockheed Martin's JATM is still undergoing intensive research, development, and testing and has not yet entered service, China's PL-17 is not only technically mature but has also been mass-produced and deployed to form combat capabilities. This means that in the critically important field of ultra-long-range air-to-air missiles, 
the PL-17 has at least established a significant performance gap over potential adversaries, next-generation products at this stage. What is particularly critical is that the three core technologies integrated into the PL-17, the dual pulse engine, a YESA active radar seeker, and high-speed bidirectional data link each represent the pinnacle of current air-to-air -air missile technology. For the vast majority of countries with missile development capabilities, these technologies will remain insurmountable technical barriers in the foreseeable future. The PL-17's deployment as part of the Three Musketeers is not merely a simple weapon integration, but a qualitative leap in the Chinese Air Force's long-range air superiority capabilities and a profound reshaping of the strategic landscape. Its most direct and disruptive tactical impact lies in forcing enemy high-value strategic support aircraft to retreat significantly. Take early warning aircraft as an example. Their radars typically detect fighter targets at distances of 400 to 600 kilometers. If the PL-17 can reliably strike early warning aircraft from beyond 500 kilometers, enemy early warning aircraft must retreat to the edge of the PL-17's range or even further rear airspace to ensure their survival. This directly reduces their detection coverage of the frontline battlefield and severely weakens their command and control capabilities. Similarly, aerial refueling aircraft would also have to stay away from the front lines, greatly reducing the combat radius and endurance of enemy fighter jets. This alone would be sufficient to push the enemy's powerful air force away from China's coastline, significantly reducing its ability and willingness to intervene in conflicts and hotspots such as the Taiwan Strait, and the South China Sea, thereby establishing a powerful air defense barrier for China. The integration of the PL-17 with the Three Musketeers has further elevated the Chinese Air Force's integrated long-range strike capabilities to a new height. The J-20, with its exceptional stealth performance, can operate covertly, penetrate enemy air defense networks, and launch a fatal strike using the PL-17 before enemy early warning aircraft detect its presence. The J-16, with its large payload capacity, robust avionics systems, and long range, can carry multiple PL-17 missiles to execute door-kicking missions across broader front lines or in deeper operational areas, targeting high-value objectives or providing robust fire support for stealth aircraft formations. The J-10C, with its outstanding maneuverability and high cost effectiveness, can flexibly employ the PL-17 across multiple directions and operational levels, expanding the threat range. The organic integration of these three platforms enables the Chinese Air Force to flexibly select launch platforms and tactics based on battlefield conditions, weaving a long-range fire network that covers vast airspace with exceptional penetration and destructive power. Without exaggeration, the operational deployment of the PL-17 has temporarily placed the Chinese Air Force at the global forefront in the field of operational ultra-long-range air-to-air missiles, achieving a leapfrog improvement in its long-range air superiority capabilities. The PL-17's capabilities are pushing future air combat toward an era of rule restructuring. Future aerial confrontations may no longer begin with the brutal close-range dogfights of fighter jets, but rather with lethal strikes launched from hundreds of kilometers away by ultra-long-range missiles silently slicing through the sky. Early warning aircraft and refueling aircraft, once relatively safe sources of power, in the rear of the battlefield, now face an unprecedentedly perilous survival environment due to the existence of the PL-17. The large-scale deployment of the PL-17 is not only a groundbreaking achievement for China's aviation industry and defense technology, but also the core support for the Chinese Air Force's strategic transformation toward airspace integration and offensive-defensive capabilities. It grants the Chinese Air Force unprecedented strategic initiative over the Western Pacific, forcing any potential adversary to reassess the costs of approaching this region. When the J-20, J-16, and J-10C carry this ultra-long-range strategic missile under their wings, China's resolve and capability to defend its national sovereignty and territorial integrity have been transformed into the clearest and most powerful strategic signal in the sky. The future landscape of aerial combat is being rewritten by this swift and thunderous force.